Peace and blessings, friends. This is Elle Parker, and I'm here today to share with you a little bit of um, information about a project I was working on in hopes that it helps you as much as it helped me. I had the opportunity to participate in a class, um, a Stop Food Waste program. The goal was to become certified as a Stop Food Waste community advocate. And the reason I enrolled in that class is really for personal reasons because I wanted to do a better job of managing um, the food waste in my own household. But I really wanted to share what I personally learned through participating in the class and how it has affected my household and my family. So I'm going to share a quick refrigerator audit with you all. I just finished some shopping at my local farmer's market, but before I get in there and put anything new into the refrigerator, I'm gonna go ahead and do a refrigerator audit and share it with you all. Uh, I don't know exactly what's gonna be in here. I do share my household with two to three young adult teenagers um, on a daily basis. So we're gonna see what's in this refrigerator and I'm kind of gonna walk you through it and uh, let's go. I have a bit of a thing, I really don't like wasting food. And it's really hard to manage a household where people have different diets, people have different likes and dislikes and all types of things going on. Um, so let's just see what we have here. So this is, right now, this is just a citrus drawer. Everything looks good in there. So that's gonna be fine for now. And then this drawer, um, I guess this is like my produce drawer. Um, so part of food waste. I'm not always sure how to store my vegetables so that they keep longer things like this, like lettuce. Um, so now, what I'm doing now, to try and um, maintain the lettuce a little longer, I keep it wrapped in a wet paper towel. And like now it's dried out, so I'm just gonna give it a little spray and rewrap it in the hopes that that helps to preserve it a little longer so it doesn't get so wilted that no one actually wants to eat it and it winds up going to waste. So just add a little more water there, keep this wrapped in this moist paper towel, and then I keep it here in the drawer. And then we have um, these little baby heads of lettuce as well. And at least one person in my household really likes to eat lettuce on a daily basis. So I try to make sure there's fresh lettuce available for her and myself. Sometimes we buy things with good intentions and then you just don't get around to it. Um, and then you wind up not eating it. So, or you buy things for people because you think they like it and then it turns out they're not in the mood that week and then you wind up having to waste it. So, this is what I'm doing to help preserve um, the lettuces and things a little longer. We've got a cucumber in here that's still good. A couple of cucumber. Oh, this one's not doing. Oh, these are. This is a squash actually. So here you can see this one's not doing so great. And I've got a bunch of little squash in here. These I like to um, make like a pasta or something like that. I have a spiraler, or you can make a quick stir fry. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in here for now, even though it's got some soft spots, but I know I need to prepare this meal like tomorrow. And we've got just some peppers. These are getting a little old, but these can still be used. I usually just like chop these up and stir fry them and add them to things so they don't have to necessarily be pretty because these are things that usually get cooked, chopped up and added to other meals. So everything for now is good in there for the most part. Um, I don't have to throw anything out. So this is a tray of raw organic eggs so what i would do with this is kind of a space saver is basically just break this up because it's hard to know what you do and don't have when stuff is taking up so much space in your refrigerator um, we can consolidate and save space by doing little things like that let's see what else we've got in here um we've got some fresh a fresh brussels sprouts tray that i picked up from my local grocery store i love this because it's got like some little seasoning packet and the veggies are already here prepared so you could just toss this in a pan fry it up and you got a whole meal boom you could feed a few people with this so that's good thankfully that's still looking good so this this needs to be um prepared sometime soon because i bought this about a week ago and then uh, we also have i picked up this mushroom tray and it's got the garlic butter already in there. So actually, my pl I actually plan to cook this tonight because this has been in here a few days and I don't want it to go bad because this was really good, a lot of really good mushrooms. So I'm actually gonna, pro my plan was to saute these tonight and make a wrap and with some of these other ingredients that I know are in here. So I'll show you what I'm gonna be using for that wrap. But this is definitely um, one of the ingredients that's gonna go in that wrap. Okay, one random 
wheat and cornflour tortilla. This, I feel like this could still be used in some way, shape or form, so I don't want to throw it away. It's a little hard, you know, but you could soften it up in the pan um, with a, depending on how you cook it, how you prepare it. So I'm actually not going to throw this away, even though there's only one tortilla left. We're going to figure out something to do with this. It's still good. And then we've got these flour tortilla, tortillas, a pack of tortillas here. These are keeping fresh. And these are my favorite because these I actually use. Now, when I'm making wraps that I need to take to work or something like that, and I really need my ingredients to be secure, I like this really huge um, wrap. It just makes it so easier. They're thinner. They're not as thick as these um, Mission tortilla wraps. These are pretty thick, and I actually really have a hard time trying to make a burrito with these, even though they say they're burrito size. Um, I don't really find it easy to make a burrito with these. I prefer these much larger and um, thinner tortillas to do that. So I kind of just do my best to keep it <laughs> keep it fresh by just folding it over. And obviously we've got a number of other things that we can typically stack on top. So that's how I do my best to keep it fresh. Uh, we got all these tortillas here. We got, oh my God, we've got practically every tortilla possible. <laughs> so these are for tacos. If they want to make some tacos, that's there. Uh, what else do we got? We got some yellow corn tortillas, little for little tacos or whatever. I don't know how long these have been in here, but they still look good, so they're gonna stay in here. We got one random piece of bread. Um, I'm not gonna keep this. Who? No one. No one's gonna do anything with this one piece of bread. It's just the end. So I'm not gonna feel too bad about wasting this. Um, but you know. When little things like this build up, it really frustrates me because I don't like to throw away food. But I guess this one's okay because it's just the end of the bread and most people don't eat that anyway. So no one's going to catch the wrath over this. <laughs> but that is going to get tossed in the food waste cycle. This bread, like I said, my family, we don't normally eat a lot of bread. I don't even know when this got purchased. Um, and I don't know how long it's been in here. Probably you could get two sandwiches out of what's in here. So I'm gonna keep this in here in case one of these young people get hungry and feel like they wanna make a sandwich one of these days. Still good so far, so we'll keep it in there. Ah, so here's something. An old, this is one of those, uh, my favorite flour tortillas. There's one left. Let me see, does it have no expiration? And it still looks good. I'm actually gonna still save this, uh, this, this, this one tortilla wrap. We'll keep that. Here's two more little pieces of bread. See what I'm saying? Probably no one is gonna eat this in this house. Um, this is gonna get recycled. Oh, these are lumpia wraps. Um, these are so hard. Yeah, that can't be used. <laughs> that, yeah, see, that, this is done. This is useless, so. That's gonna get recycled out. That's some spinach. This package of spinach has been keeping pretty well. I'm very happy. I'm probably actually gonna go ahead and use the rest of this today in that um, mushroom wrap that I told you I was preparing to make. So I'm thankful this hasn't gone bad and become useless. Probably the young people probably don't wanna use it because they have some particularities about themselves, <laughs> about how things need to look in order for them to feel like they wanna use it. I'm gonna go ahead and make the mushroom wrap and I'm gonna use all of this um, today. So this is dinner tonight. Um, this is one little thing I'm learning about labeling. So when I purchased these herbs, I went ahead and pre-picked them, pre-prepared them basically for, for use. And then I just make sure I mark the bag, baggie, like what's in here so that anyone that comes in here knows that this is parsley. And I do this with my cilantro and any other little things that I just prep and have bagged up. So say if you make that taco or if you make that burrito, this is already in here, easy for them to grab. They know what it is and they can just prepare their food. So um, stuff like that. We have tons of pickles in this refrigerator. Um, I don't know exactly why we have so many pickles. I know we've got a whole summer to eat a bunch of pickles because I'm tired of just holding pickles in my refrigerator and no one's eating them. They don't need to live here. This is something that probably should not be all the way in the back of the refrigerator stuck back behind the pickles because then you forget that it's here and then you don't get to use it. And you see this is just about to expire. So I'm thankful I found this. I really love this. I mean, I like the idea of it. This is something that I really wanted to use. So um, I'm probably might actually use this today with that spinach wrap. This is something that could go great with a spinach wrap. Spinach, I have the cucumber in there, um, mushrooms, and then you could just use this as a little sauce, wrap it up in one of those tortillas, boom, quick meal, you're done. So I'm glad I have this. What's this? 
from uh, peach cobbler that I picked up from the farmer's market. Um, really not supposed to be eating this kind of stuff it's with all the sugar and things like that but every now and then at least once a month I get a little crazed out for some sweets and this was what happened this month so hopefully I kind of hope somebody will come in and finish this and I hope it doesn't have to be me because I really shouldn't be eating all this sugar um, but if nobody else is gonna finish this we ate a lot this thing was filled like this container was filled to the top so there's just like a one serving left if somebody wants to come in here and have a little sweet dessert treat um it's here but like i said the, the children are funny i don't know what's going on but I, as by my observation when there's like one serving left of something nobody will touch it and then it just sits in here until it becomes bad and then it winds up getting tossed out so i'm gonna set this right in the front so someone can see it and if they decide they want uh, this dessert it's right here and then i can even put a little sign on here it says like eat me or eat me first but it's a dessert so i'm not gonna go that far <laughs> um what else do we have in here? These are new fresh juices. We've got our huge um, ranch dressing that some people like to use, not myself, because I don't eat a lot of dairy. Um, as you can see, we typically have almond milk or other things like that. You see, I make sure we get the unsweetened um, milks and things like that. No added sugar when possible. Vegetable stock, this is great when you're cooking something. Honestly, I don't know how long this has been in here. Um, like I said, I go through these Oh, this is from February. So as much as I would like to save this, it's now June, 2021. I think I should probably um, go ahead and not keep this anymore. So it's not getting used. We might as well just not have it. Um, what's this? This is a chai latte blend that I picked up at one point in time. Sometimes at night, like I said, I shouldn't be having like desserts like the peach cobbler and cookies and all these things I can tend to go overboard on, but I did pick this up because you know it gets a little chilly here at night and you want something warm and sweet with a little sweetness to it and this looked like it would just be perfect blend it with some of my almond milk um this would be like a perfect little late night treat so we're gonna keep this and it, it even says it's good until september so we've got some time on this one we're gonna keep it that's a keeper hummus so we got some avocado cilantro hummus spinach feta hummus as you can see these are almost gone so this might be a little victim of the teenagers here where they probably won't touch this again. I'm just calling it like it normally happens in my house. When something's down to like the last serving, nobody will touch it. And they won't just eat it. I, and it kind of drives me a little crazy <laughs> because I'm like, if you if it's a little bit left, just finish it so it can be gone and then we can replace it. But when you leave the containers in here and they've got just a little bit and everything, it can be a little frustrating. But fortunately for me, like these are the types of things that I will just throw in a wrap like I can mix both of these together um, and just toss it in a wrap with some with some cucumber, some fresh spinach or whatever, and boom, call it lunch. So I'm gonna pair this with this because these are actually I tend to use these together. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep these together so I can see it. So now we can actually move up a bit in the refrigerator or to the top shelf. We've got some takeout leftovers here, some calamari. Honestly, this is just some little junk food, but I do like calamari. So these are easy to just toss in the oven if I want a little snack, just something crunchy and flavorful and spicy. That's what I use this for. So I'll just reheat this in the oven and boom, a little snack. Not the healthiest meal, but it's there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. One of my teenagers, we're not gonna say any names, but one of my teenagers purchased on one of our shopping trips this huge box of go-go squeeze, apple mango fruit on the go actually i'm probably gonna eat these because um she's the child's not eating them i'm gonna eat them because i can have fruit now and these are good apple mango guava yeah so here yeah i'm i'm being the one I, I sometimes i feel like i'm a scavenger in my own household because when the young people leave things and don't want to finish them i'm typically the one who in order to honor my feelings of not wanting to waste food and money then i'm the one that comes and will wind up eating things my teenage or well, my young adult son purchased these uh these were actually called chocolate death bars yeah so as someone who tends to struggle with um sugar addiction and weight management this is not the kind of stuff that i should be eating i don't even really want to see this stuff really in my refrigerator because then i will eat it but i don't live here by myself and other people have foods and things that they want so this is something he put in here i did eat one I almost regret it. That's why I'm not eating anymore because 
they taste good but they do for they taste like death to me going down they're heavy they're very rich definitely don't want to touch those so if they don't eat those soon i'm probably not gonna feel really bad about getting those out of my refrigerator because really honestly no one in this house should be eating them but the young people can do it i absolutely can't do it so anyway moving on we've got some tomatoes i got these because i can cut these up and put them in the wraps um i like to make little pizzas pasta dishes i just felt like there's tons of ways that these little tomatoes can be used so i have these but i also have these that i got from the farmer's market and these are getting a little old so actually i'm probably going to try to use at least one or two of these today with my um spinach and mushroom wrap probably going to try and cut up some of these tomatoes and put in there hopefully these tomatoes survive until that time that's why they're up here right in the front so hopefully they get seen and they won't get wasted and what we have back here this is some um sea moss gel that i made some purple sea moss gel and i like to if i make something a little stewy you know like a soup or a pasta i definitely love to put i'll put the sea moss in there um, if we're making smoothies i'll toss a couple tablespoons of sea moss in that um, but that's pretty much how i use the sea moss i'm this has been here a while and honestly i also um, as a body worker and therapist um, i could even use this in a body a nurch a nutritional living foods body wrap so that's actually what i have some intentions for this sea moss gel yeah you learn more you keep in touch with me you'll learn more about that how i use living foods with my body work treatments fabulous so we're gonna keep this sea moss gel now these are some strawberries i got from the farmer's market the last time that i went um they're still looking pretty good i went ahead and washed them and removed all the stems and and cut them up I didn't put the top on the container because I feel like when they're sealed, they tend to go bad faster. But when I don't put the top on, I noticed, as you can see, they will kind of like dry out a little bit and maybe won't be as appealing. Like I said, my young people are very finicky eaters and if they don't like the way something looks, anyway, there's a lot of special preferences in this household. This is why I already have them cut up because they don't get eaten fresh. I can quickly just toss these in the freezer and then use them in our smoothies because we will make smoothies from time to time so if these don't get eaten or used up this way before they spoil and i have to throw them out i'll just toss them in the freezer and they'll get um used up and uh keep longer but i kind of don't like when things get pushed to the back because it seems like sometimes people get a little lazy and they don't want to go to the back of the fridge they rather just grab what's right in the front so pretty much the things i i kind of know that the back back is my responsibility because <laughs> the young people aren't gonna go back there so that's some basil that it's like a basil pesto back here this guy right here that i got and this is great because um this is, adds a lot of flavor to a dish if you're frying up something you can take this basil pesto sauce it's got a little um it's got a little uh parmesan cheese in it and like i said we don't eat a lot of cheese in this household but um just a little and it's very flavorful fresh basil um oil and oil so you can just toss this in a pan and it's a great way to get a meal started so i love that quick little easy easy fast hack because somehow living in these days and times we don't have time we we're, we're constantly short on time and we can't feed ourselves so i have one child who loves to use pesto that's kind of why i got that big thing she loves to make little fried rice dishes so here you can see another basil pesto uh, i probably actually paid a pretty penny for this one um it doesn't expire until July, which is coming up soon. So I'm gonna keep this in the front in the hopes that it get used. And if it doesn't get used, I will put a whole sticker on here that says, use me first, just in case there's any confusion about why it's sitting up here and they don't overlook it and go back to the larger container because they don't want to manage finishing up the container. I don't know why that happens, but it does. But that can easily be used. This, um, somebody, one of my children every now and then like I said we don't eat a lot of dairy but every like once in a month once a month or once in a blue moon she will want cream cheese for her bagel so hopefully this she got some strawberry cream cheese in here I don't know what she's gonna do with this it's good until August so she's got some time before it spoils so I hope she uses it but there's only one person in the house that's probably gonna eat this and she's the tiniest person with the most pickiest uh, appetite so she may have wanted this at one time and then decided she was done and hopefully this gets finished and it doesn't get wasted that's a big that's a big hope though um this was a gift of some homemade garlic butter or garlic cheese something some a friend gifted to us um and it's actually rather tasty this um was a guacamole what was this a mild guacamole um 
Yeah, I'm probably, this is something that's going to get tossed out. I don't even remember purchasing this. So this is something that's going to get wasted. This is going in the compost. So far, so good. We're not wasting a lot. This is a bread starter that somebody gave me. So I actually have to like feed this. Um, yeah, more, I don't know a whole lot about that, but I'm, I would like to be better at like making my own bread and stuff. So somebody gave me this to help me get started. So I have to do some work with this. And put that right in the front so I can remember that I need to address that. <laughs> so actually the fridge is not looking too bad today. Um, I've got some new cherries. I'm gonna go ahead and put in here. And we've got some berries we just got. Um, I'm just gonna put those in here for now. And we'll see what we can do um, with the rest. So, so far so good. I'm not too, um, I'm, I'm okay with today's refrigerator audit. I'm not too upset. Sometimes I come in here and I get really upset about the amount of food that I have to throw out. Um, and today is, is looking pretty good. So yeah, I wanna say since participating in the SWEET program, um, the Stop Food Waste program, there has been a reduction of food waste in my household. I feel a lot better about the amount of food um, that's getting used and I'm never happy about any amount of food getting wasted, but it is decreased a lot, so I'm happy about that. To give you a quick look, this is actually the door of the refrigerator. Um, like little stuff like this. There's literally a corner of this lime juice in here. Why no one will just take this out and manage the uh, removal of, I hate when they do that. That's like, it's like a pet peeve of mine when someone leaves just a little bit of something in the container and then leave the whole container in the refrigerator. I'm like, I don't know if you remember um, that scene from uh, Harlem Nights where she's going off about the little corner of juice in the container. That's me. I hate when zombies, like, look at this. Who could do anything with this? Now, yes, I could splash this little splash of lime juice in a, in a meal and eat it, but somebody should have done that a long time ago and got rid of this little bit of juice in this. Ugh. So frustrating. So anyway, back to the door of the refrigerator. We've got a little, I don't know, these are like little sauces and things that I don't like to throw out. Cause you never know when you just might need a little sauce for something or you might be out of um, ketchup or mustard or hot sauce and then you can just use these little things. I just started purchasing some butter um, cause we're getting a little, I don't know, trying some new meals and things like that. So I went ahead and got some butter, which is not normally. And even I even got a little cheese cause I made some pizza things for the kids and things like that. Okay, so let's get into the freezer here. Some ice. So as you can see, we keep a lot of um, frozen fruits and berries for things like, for instance, something like this, like these berries, these are blueberries. They would have gone bad in the refrigerator because no one was eating them. If they're not perfectly fresh and if they have a single wrinkle or anything, people tend to not eat them. So I just throw them in the freezer before they go bad so I don't have to waste them and then I can just use them in our smoothies and stuff like that. One thing I wanted to show you in here, um, meal prepping. So this was from a larger pack of chicken breast. And what I had to do ahead of time was basically break it down. I could have even seasoned this if I wanted to, um, but I didn't season them just because it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. So basically I just separate them and put them in individual packaging because there's pretty much only one person in this house that eats meat. So we don't need a whole four or five pack of chicken. Um, it needs to be prepared so that a person can make an individual serving of something. So I put them in these individual wraps so that when that person is ready to come and make some meat for a meal, it's in here and it's ready to go. Look, here's some breads that um, we just keep in the freezer because if they want to make like a burger or a sandwich, like I said, we don't eat a lot of bread very often. So if I just buy a pack of hamburger buns, it's very liable to go bad. Um, so once people are finished with their meal, I just throw the bread in the freezer and it's very easy to thaw that out and um, make a nice burger patty when you're ready to. But I wanted to also show you this. This is something that I learned um, from the sweet class as well. This is actually a bunch of um, green waste from like my herbs, lettuce, kale, anything that I was cooking. Um, these are the stems and basically the waste. But instead of just throwing it out, I'm keeping it in the freezer because I could put all of this into a pot and basically make a um, vegetable broth that I can later use for, for cooking um, and things like that. So I can use this green waste to make my own vegetable stock. That's what they call it, vegetable stock. Um, that's it, really. These are just some little, little tidbits. This is me trying to prep some uh, I made these by hand. I made the dough, it's got some dill in it, and then I put um, spinach and cheese in here so they can make little patties. They can just put it in the oven and heat up. Um, we love the, the 
veggie meatless breakfast patties from Trader Joe's. We're going to stop eating. We're going to need an intervention from continuing to eat so many of these. So we're going to probably pause on bringing these into the house for a minute. But we really love these. <laughs> they get eaten a lot in this household. Um, yeah. So what else? So yeah, again, you can see this is just some celery that was on its way out the door but instead of throwing it away it's very easy for me to just stick it in the freezer and either I can use it when I'm juicing just blend it up toss it in the blender and make my juice or add it to my vegetable stock and same thing like here's some pineapple that could have gone bad or you know a banana that was ripening beyond the point that anyone would really want to eat it it's very easy for me to just stick these things in the freezer because I do juice a lot I make a lot of juices and smoothies and then I can just add these um, frozen to my juices and smoothies and then when I don't have that I will sometimes get um, these frozen juices to add to my smoothies but it's great when I already have my own frozen fruit to do that um, and that's about it these I don't even know what this stuff is random sauce packets these are some um, Oh, I think these are some berry, fresh fruit berry ices that I made myself before I found these lovelies um, at Whole Foods, little freezer pops. So that's it. In the free refrigerator audit is complete. Um, just here beside the refrigerator, we have our food waste um, compost can. We've got our recycling garbage can, and then we have our trash garbage can. So that's very important for us here um, in terms of recycling. We want to make sure that we're recycling and being a part of um, closing that loop as well so that we can just be more sustainable in our households so we have more sustainability in our communities and ultimately this practice spreads um, across the world. Personally, I have a little pet peeve um, about the fact that corporations um, and these large businesses, I don't feel like they're doing as much to be a part of that. Uh, that cycle of recycling and sustainability. Um, hopefully more companies are, but here at the individual household level, these are just some of the things that we can do within our homes to help take responsibility and teach our youth and teach our young people how they can um, be more sustainable in their lives as well going forward. So that's all I have for everyone here today. That was my refrigerator audit. I'm pretty happy. I didn't wind up throwing away a lot of food. Oh, let me show you something else. I don't know if you can see back there. Um, hold on. So this is something else I learned um, from the Stop Food Waste program. This is just some basil that I purchased from the farmer's market. And basically what I did is I just brought it home and I put it in a mason jar with some water. And you can see that it's been a few weeks and this basil has totally sprouted in this jar of water. It's been keeping green, lovely, lush, I don't know what I'm gonna continue to do with this. Um, but for now, it's so lovely. I've enjoyed using it in my cooking and all the other various ways that I use basil. I'm gonna use it to make some, some bath washes and things like that. So I'm very excited that this basil has continued to grow um, just by water, just being in water. So I do change the water maybe like once a week or something like that um, to keep the water clean and fresh. But yeah, that basil has been continuing um, to regrow. And then I also did the same thing with um, some green onions that I got and they sprouted, they rooted in the water as well. Um, I haven't taken as good of care as the green onion uh, to show you guys, but that's something that I learned from them as well. So that's really been helpful in um, being sustainable and um, just keeping our herbs and things fresh. So maybe I'll have a little, a little thriving herb garden at some point in time. Um, not right now, because I'm not really in a position to care for um, plant life like that right now. Um, but when I am, I have more space and everything that I need to be a better caretaker of the plant life. I definitely look forward to having a more thriving um, home garden as well. So I hope this message reaches anyone that can um, use it and find any of these tips helpful. If you have any questions or if there's anything I can do to, any questions I can answer or anything I can do to help support you um, in your home uh, sustainability practices and reducing the food waste in your home, feel free to reach out to me and ask me questions. I'll do the best that I can. I want to say special thank you to Ms. Jean um, and um, all the ladies at the Oakland Stop Food Waste Program that um, invited me and supported me in continuing the class. And um, even though there were some technical breakdowns and I wasn't able to be certified, I just want you all to know that your information was well received. It's helping at least one household. And I hope that um, by just my practice of daily living, I'm able to inspire others um, to make some of these changes as well. If I get some feedback about how that's worked, I'll definitely be happy to share with you all. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I welcome your feedback and I wish you all peace, blessings, and love. Bye.